Okay, sorry for keeping you guys waiting. Um, now it's 7.07 .07 p.m. here in Los Angeles, California. That means we're uh, ready to get started. Hello and welcome. My name is Anita and I am the marketing specialist for the Asia Pacific region. Thank you so much all for taking the time to be here today. For this webinar, I have our superstar technical support engineer, Jazz, who is coming to you from our office in Malaysia. She will be doing a live demonstration of the GVC 3210 interface, as well as a live call using IP video talk towards the end of the presentation. So feel free to type in the chat box anytime if you have any questions or if you just want to say hello. We, have, we will also have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So let's begin this uh, webinar on the GVC 3210 Innovative Video Conferencing Endpoint. So when you think of video conferencing, you think of being able to connect face-to-face -face with anyone in the world and being able to say and show basically the same thing without actually being present. Here at Grandstream, we have designed the easiest, most innovative video conferencing system on the market. We believe in connecting the world. We believe every business, large or small, should have the tools to communicate from anywhere on any device. And we design products that make this belief become a reality. Grandstream's wide range of products really does help to connect businesses around the world. And you're going to see that in some of my examples later in this presentation. So for any business size, it's important to enable employees to be as productive and responsive as possible. Today, there's an extensive se selection of communication products and applications available to help businesses achieve and um, success and growth. With a full range of IP endpoints and networking products, Grandstream creates enterprise-grade communication solutions for each um, for every business. Now let's look at this diagram that depicts a typical Grandstream total solution at a common office setting. Starting from our GWN AP and router, we offer users a networking solution that is powerful and secure with wide coverage range. They feature industry leading setup and management thanks to its embedded provisioning and management controllers uh, using our new GWN cloud. Having access to the internet, employees can use our GXV3200 series of IP video phones to gain access to advanced calling features. Running on Android platform, you can easily go on the Google Play Store and download productive apps to your phone, such as Skype and Google Hangout. You can also use its Bluetooth pairing feature for your headset, upload your contacts and calendar information from your mobile device. For Mobility, while making and receiving calls, you can have our wireless deck phones uh, configure up, up to five DP720 handsets to access any employee business extension. With our surveillance camera, they can be used for exceptional wide angle performance monitoring in your office. And nothing completes a unified communication solution more than our IP phones. So you might need anything from a one-line phone from our GXP 1600 series for basic calling functions to all the way to our 12-line GXP 2100 series um, high-end enterprise IP phones, where it's designed for users like receptionists, administrators, sales staff, and other positions with call-intensive roles who requires call controlling features. This is all great tools for your office but for a typical conference room, you'll need something else. And this is where the GVC 3210 uh, comes in. So as the workforce gets more spread out, new requirements are needed to accommodate these changes. With our recent video conferencing endpoint, the GVC 3210 is a simple yet powerful video conferencing solution ideal for SMBs looking for a price-friendly option that still carries the high-end features needed to sustain high-quality 
business communications. So it's ideal for huddle rooms and smaller collaboration spaces. The GVC 3210 offers the same flexibility as our other GVC series models to support any SIP, H323, or Android video conferencing platform. And besides having unparalleled features, this device is coming to you at a price point that all businesses could afford. This is a $1,000 unit price list pr um, unit, which you won't find anywhere else in the industry. So if you look at these features with any other competition, you're looking at thousands of dollars. Next. So built in to uh, the small device, there's everything you need um, um, from our dual USB, integrated dual band audio, SD card, HDMI, Bluetooth, and PoE Plus ports. This is also paired with our Bluetooth remote control with multi-touch touchpad. The GVC 3210 comes equipped with sophisticated noise shield technology to block out any background noise and maximize audio quality. Additional features include advanced four microphone array, two on each side with beam forming capabilities. Also a high end 16 megapixel CMOS sensor with electronic pan tilt zoom feature for easy camera view adjustments, as well as Miracast for convenient content sharing and an impressive eight meter sound pickup range. This device supports video resolution up to 4K Ultra HD, which turns any ordinary video conferencing room into a powerful, clear, enhancing experience. This really helps bring the virtual collaboration quality to any business. The GVD GVC 3210 camera wide angle lens provides and can expand uh, to a 90, de 90 degree horizontal view bringing everyone in view without adjusting the camera. So paired with our Grandstream's GVC series, we have our video, audio, and web conferencing platform called IP Video Talk. Our hosted conferencing services allow users to join meetings from anywhere using almost any device. It's available as a standalone host service or used with our GVC 3200 or GVC 3202 video conferencing hardware. We have different IP video talk plans that allows you to increase meeting capacity while also integrating web, mobile, and phone users. IP video talk meetings can be attended from GVC devices, PCs, Macs, and any Android or iOS device using the free IP Video Talk app. And through this platform, you can have better meetings, increase productivity, and also save money on business travel costs. So why is video conferencing a necessity for today today's competitive marketplace. Through our research, we saw that video conferencing can help increase task performance by 26%. When it comes to collaboration meetings through video conferencing, compared to traditional audio only types, 94% of businesses that utilize video conferencing sees an increase in productivity. This was taken from the White House study um, and that showed that 65% productivity uh, increase rate, rate when people used content sharing in more than half of their video calls. So being able to share just any type of documents, presentations, charts, or diagrams can really help people visualize what you're trying to say and get the message across. And more than 50% of internal workplace meetings are now done through video conferencing. So I'm sure you've all experienced this as well, whether you're working internally within your own department or perhaps outside with clients. 
And even right now, all of you are joining me and you know, watching me utilize video conferencing and sort of experiencing this presentation and hopefully learning something from this webinar. So the last point here is that 55% uh, of communication process can be comprised of body language. This can really affect people who work in sales, where being um, in meetings, it's important to have a virtual, like face-to-face -face interaction at its best, and it can really impact and make a difference. So this allows you to see someone's body movements, hand movements, and also their expression. And body language provides an amazing amount of information and you can almost kind of see what other people are thinking. Next, let's discuss uh, how using the GVC 3210 and IP Video Talk can enhance your productivity. So what does it bring to the table? For those cost-sensitive deployments with a need for intuitive video conferencing, the Android interface pairs with most video and web conferencing services. Our IP Video Talk room system integration is great and is what we're currently using right now. The GVC 3210 really allows you to take any ordinary marketing space and sort of push it into that virtual collaboration level that we want. Its fork mic array allows for a small office footprint where you don't need so many wires and separate hardware and microphones all over the table. And of course, content sharing supports, um, which we talked about earlier in the previous slide. It's just a better way to visualize and follow what the presenter is saying. All of this is re are really um, important factors that allow for a powerful and productive collaboration. And moving forward, um, what about empowering collaboration? So like I said, it can upgrade any typical conferencing room to a virtual collaboration room. So the goal here is to make you understand the potential of what you can do with our video conferencing solution. So thinking about your conferencing space right now, would a GVC 3210 work there? So for remote workers, um, it's definitely a good target example of where we can see it getting deployed and sort of linking the remote worker to a com conferencing place. For example, in my weekly marketing meeting, I discuss marketing plans and goals with our headquarter marketing team in Boston. And we also have our Latin America marketing specialists join in um, from the comfort of his home sometimes using the GVC 3210. And using this and IP video talk allows us to go, go around the geographical limitations and Working in the LA office and using our video conferencing services allows me to collaborate efficiently and effectively with my colleagues um, around the globe. You can also empower collaborations in sites like remote classrooms, just like uh, when we have our, our Grand Stream Academy training webinars. And also HR training focus types are great deployment examples as well. So now into actual deployment scenarios, you really want to look for industries or organizations where collaboration is a must, like office environments from small to medium businesses, particularly in conference rooms and boardrooms. We have uh, education environments. So classroom and advisor offices are examples whether it's someone doing a training or even something like hosting or joining a, a music lesson or providing a private tutoring. Our GVC 3210 enables better student engagement. You can record and stream classes and lectures. You can even combine classes for group learning and other special projects. 
Thirdly, professional and personal developments. Say like if you're just preparing a startup company for a cupcake business and wanted to teach a class, you can utilize IP Video Talk to schedule and host your classes as well as using the 3210 for 4K resolution and ultra clear audio quality. So after your classes, you can gain a lot of knowledge and information from your meeting report um, and see where people are coming from, who registered but missed a class, and also download your video recording so that you can share it with um, your students later. Another example I have is you might be you know, sick at home and you really can't make it to the office and you need to show a presentation that day or conduct a webinar, you can use IP Video Talk to easily share your content and work from home. So no more having to email your presentation or switching over to a USB. So I'm pretty sure we've all experienced this struggle in the past where you're thinking about the best way to send over a file to another screen. Okay, so now is, um, I'm going to switch it over to Jazz so that she can show you guys the GVC 3210 interface as well as a live call demo of the IP video talk. Hello, thank you. Thank you to any there. So I'm Jess, one of the technical support engineer in, in Malaysia. So I hope you guys can hear me properly and loudly. Okay, so let's not delay further and let me show you how the web UI of GPC 3210 looks like. So Assume that you got a new unit, you can just easily plug in your TV or monitor and go through the setup wizard using the remote control and you will get an IP address. So you put in the IP address in your web browser and you log in as admin. As usual, it's going to be admin for the username and admin for password. And there you go, you are logged in into the web UI. So I believe most of you have experience using our GBC32 series. And if so, it's more or less gonna look like the same, except for there's gonna be some certain settings that only 3210 has uh, because it's a 4K, um, 4K video conferencing unit. So it's a little bit different. Um, once you're logged in, you get to see six tabs. Uh, let's start with the status. First thing first, when you always get a new unit, you go to system info and check on the firmware version. We can see here that the firmware version is 1.0.1.20, which is our latest firmware version and it's the current stable version. So if you are having a if you have a GBC3210, it is best to upgrade to the latest firmware version for a better performance and better stability. Uh, this is where you get to see all the system information, such as your Android version, as mentioned by Anita. GVC 3210 is on Android 6.0. And you were able to see the system uptime as well. So let's say you have plugged in your GBC to a WAN network or uh, it's connected to the internet. You will be able to see all the network status over here as well. Under this tab, um, as mentioned again by Anita, this has a one HDMI input with 1080 pixel and two HDMI output port with 4K uh, pixel. So if you see, if you look at this web UI here, you will be able to find out that um, all of these ports are gray out. So if any of the port is connected or have any devices plugged in, it will show out as green. 
So I only have one device plugin uh, in HDMI out and it's connected to our 4K TV in Malaysia office. So it's gonna light up as green. SD card and USB will be most likely used if you are connected to a, a pen drive or SD card or uh, had this so you can uh, store more recordings. And here you can see all the account status, if it's registered or not, and the server IP address, which is uh, registered to. Every GVC comes with a free trial of IP video talk account. So once it's finished, and if you'd like to continue using, you may contact our distributor in your area. Now let's go back to the call tab. In the call tab, uh, it's exactly the same as uh, GPC 3200 and 3202. You can see the call history on your right hand side, um, the scheduled conference on reservation status tab, and all your account info, be it IB Video Talk, SIP, or Blue Jeans, or H.323 if you have configured them. We were able to switch into uh, switch the other accounts as default. If you want to, for example, currently we are using IP Video Talk as our default account because in Malaysia we most most commonly use IP Video Talk for our meeting with LA office. So we use this as our default. If not, you can always select SIP as your default. So on. you will be able to make call in this page. So let's say I'm gonna call to another GPC that we have over here um, with this IP video talk account. So you can just select call, a video call or audio call. Or if you want to dial through IP address as well, you can do that too using IP call. Once you're done, click on this call button and it will make a call directly for you. If you notice, if you notice it, uh, very detailedly, you'll be able to see a small button on your right hand side. This button, uh, by default, it's gray out. However, if there's any call or if the GVC is hosting a conference or joining a meeting or in a call, this button will be light up as green. I will show you more later on in our demo. And when you expand it, you will be able to see even more call details for the call, such as the bandwidth consume and so on and so forth. Under the contacts tab, you will be able to create new contacts directly here from the web UI or create a new groups and put in uh, and add on the group members into the groups. Another great feature about GVC is that you are able to create a schedule conference. You can have a meeting right now, or you can schedule it for a later date. GVC 3210 allows you to sync with a Google, Google Calendar. So let's say you are on the go, you are at a coffee shop, and you feel like having a meeting with your team tomorrow. You can always create a calendar schedule um, on your Google Calendar, and GVC 3210 if it's sync, it will pull the conference details into this web UI. And when the time uh, for the conference arrived, it will send you an alert or will call the members directly. Under call history, you will be able to see all the missed call and all the call that you have made or been made to you. Last but not least, JPC can also be configured as an LDAP client. If you are using GrandStream collection, you, will, you can use a UCM as our LDAP server. Configure that as an LDAP server and configure JPC as an LDAP client. You can have JPC to pull the contacts from the UCM.
JPC allow the presets up to 24, up to 24 display. So for example, in this GTC 3210 that we have now, there's three presets. This will um, be more convenient if you are in a meeting and you do not want to keep on pressing on the button to get the best angle of view. If that's the case, you can simply just click on one, two or three preset which you have configured it earlier to, re, uh, to lessen the hassle. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this audio control, it's a little bit different from all other GVC because under audio control, we have added a code delay, ringtone volume and medium volume in this page, which means you can easily adjust all of these three settings based to uh, based on your environment. <coughs> Zip, IV Data Talk, BlueJeans, H3.323. Uh, uh, all of the settings are the same where you can just uh, select or uh, where you can enable or disable the account and just key in a username and so, so forth to register them to the server. <clears throat> Being a 4K conferencing unit, under this tab, you will be able to select the 4K pixel with 24 frames per second for HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 if you are connected. However, please note that when 4K, when 4K is being used, EPTZ local recording is not supported. So if you're using 4K as well on HDMI 1, HDMI 2 will not be 4K 2. Another great feature from GPC 3210 is the noise, noise shell technology. We know that GPC 3210 has a four mic beam forming array, and it has an awesome uh, pickup range of eight meter. With that, of course, it's gonna pick up a lot of sounds in the meeting room. And that's why we have this noise shell technology. Noise shell technology will only collect the sound of the person who is speaking and will block all other sounds such as paper cutting or people walking around. So to enable that, this is the place. You can just simply enable it by ticking this box, yes, or uncheck the box for no. Uh, this is the place where you perform security or configure security settings. <clears throat> uh, by default, SSH will be disabled. Uh, and I do not recommend people to enable it if there's uh, if you are if you're not using ssh and always remember to change to a new admin password over here once you got the new unit if possible change the ss mode to https and the port for better security purposes so if you are using the default password you will get this error like i do and because uh we, we, don't, we don't normally change it because we have such a huge team to avoid confusion. But it's a very good practice for you to change to a, a better password for admin. Uh, similar to all of our GVC units, um, for firmware upgrade, you can have the firmware to upgrade locally or through HTTP, HTTPS, and TFTP over here. If not, for your convenience, Grandstream has our own HTTP firmware server upgrade. Oh, sorry, firmware upgrade server, which is firmware.grandstream.com. You may also configure automatic upgrade over here as well. <clears throat> if you are using GPC 3210 as a hosting, uh, as a host server for a conference, you might want to record 
the meeting. As I mentioned earlier, you can plug in your USB or your SD card or your HDD and have them record and save it over there. By default, the recording will be saved locally in the GBC unit. However, if you are trying to record a long presentation or a long meeting, it will be best if you can change your safe path to the storage unit which you have plugged in over here. If you have any problem <coughs> or uh, if you are raising a ticket with your unit to the support team, you might want to give them um, the packet trace and you can create, I mean, you can capture the packet trace over here or the syslog over here. Another great feature about GVC 3210 is that it has a virtual remote control. So for people like me who always throw all my remote around and I cannot find it when I want to use them, this will be a great help to assess the uh, display screen on the TV. So, and that's all for web UI. Now let me do a quick call using IP Video Talk and I'll show you how awesome IP Video Talk is. <coughs> all right, so this is 3210 and our IP Video Talk account is 8203766. Feel free to call us if you want. You will be able to see our office. And we also have another GBC 3200 uh, set up in our office. <clears throat> in which the account is 8200080. So I'm going to make a call from 3210 to 3200 using IP Video Talk. It's going to be a video call, so I'll just make a call. And because I have configured it as uh, auto answer, you can see that this unit has joined the conference which 3210 hosted. You can add more members over here if you want to, uh, be it a seat or IP video talk, or record the conference using this record button, or you can press the record button on the remote control as well. To find out more on the call details of this conference call, click on call details and you can see if there's any packet loss, the video bit rate, video frame rate, the codec being used for video and audio. You can also see the meeting ID over here. And if you want to call and if you want to join this meeting using a PSTN number, you can too by calling this number and entering the meeting ID. So other than calling between these two GBC, I can join this conference using a web IP video talk. And how to do that? Just go to www.ipvideotalk.com, join a meeting. You'll be directed to this page where you have to enter the meeting ID. <clears throat> the meeting ID is from here. Just do a copy paste. Okay. And join. All right. And there you go. You can see the screens from both GBC. So because IP video talk uh, doesn't show 4K currently, uh, it cannot, 4K can only be supported in zip, but we are trying to work towards it for now. Um, so you can see the left-hand side is the screen from GPC 3210, and the right-hand side is the screen for GPC 3200. And if you click on this button, you can see the network status if there's any packet loss for your 
uh, IP video talk. And you can change the video resolution based on your bandwidth. Other than using a web IP video talk, you can join this conference using a phone. For me, um, well, for most of the Grandstream's employee, um, like you, Rachel, me, a lot of people, we are always on the go. We got stuck in the traffic jam, and but we have so much meetings to join. We will just download IP video talk from Google Play or from Apple Store. Um, just log in, just open up the app, and again, key in the meeting ID. So let me join it real quick right now. Okay. And you should see that I'm joining over right here on the participant list. <coughs> and there you go. You can see that I'm joining from an Android phone. And that's all for our demo today using IP Video Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. And very sorry that we are unable to show you how awesome 4K video is. Um, but you, if you want to, you can always um, contact sales to get more details on uh, GPT-3210 and the pricing. Or if you have any questions on GPT-3210 on technical parts, you can always email to our support team uh, and us and me. Uh, to get more uh, understanding. <clears throat> uh, and so Nitin asks, can GBC 3210 support Google Hangs Out and Mixing with Zip? Definitely. Um, <clears throat> GBC 3210 is runs on Android and it allows uh, Facebook Messenger, Hangs Out, and Skype uh, to join into the same conference with SIP calls. So yes, it supports Google Hangouts and mixing with SIP in a conference. Uh, for Zooming, uh, so Amarith asks, does it support Zoom? <clears throat> um, if you're using a 4K, ep which is uh, electronic, pan, tilt, and zoom is not supported. However, if you change it to, uh, or just now which I show you, if you change it to another resolution, <coughs> to a lower resolution uh, here, like 1018 pixel or 1920, you are able to use zoom. So, Zoom is supported. Uh, Kisho asks, does <coughs> PSTN support in GBC3210 is available for India? Um, it depends on what account are you, are you trying to dial with. If you are using SIP, and it's, uh, if your SIP account is registered to a SIP server, which is mapped to a PSTN number, yeah, it can be support. It, it definitely can be supported. If you are using IP video talk, of course, it will have a PSTN number for you to dial, uh, which I've shown you earlier. <clears throat> um, maybe I'll show you again. So you can go to this call details, and then you will get the this PSTN number to dial in for IP video talk. So, yeah. So, if there's no further questions, I'll pass it back to Anita. Thank you.
Thank you, Jazz, for that wonderful demonstration. If you have any more questions for her, just type it in the comment section on the side of the screen. Now let's continue with a quick slide about a recent case study we conducted uh, with Asia Pacific land. So a quick intro to Asia Pacific land. Um, they are a real estate investment and asset management firm. They have over 20 years of investing experience and has three main offices in Tokyo, LA, and Hong Kong. Asia Pacific Land was using Skype as their main video conferencing platform, but found this to be difficult and complicated when, whenever they wanted to talk with clients and com customers who didn't use Skype, also for colleagues and recruiting interviewees as well. This made it inconvenient for others and ultimately slowed down their productivity. And they knew that there was a better way, so they looked for GrantStream um, for a solution. And after discussing with their Japan, uh, our Japan distributor, they recommended trying the GVC 3200 series. And Asia Pacific Land ended up loving the GVC 3202. And now with three GVCs in each main office, they not only save money on business travel costs, but are able to have video and audio conferencing with many more people than ever before. And through um, our grant, through GrantStream support for open source and H323. So if you want to learn more about this case study or read all about others, you can find it on our webpage. And fun fact is that I actually, uh, this is my first case study that I wrote, so I'd appreciate it if you check it out. So we're almost at the end here, and. If you want to prove that you're a GrantStream expert with our different uh, certification levels on GrantStream Academy, you will gain product knowledge, learn how to configure and deploy GrantStream products, and eventually be able to troubleshoot any issues that might arise. You can even pick and choose each product category you want to be certified for. So I, I recommend attending these training webinars because it really gives you a full perspective of our solu solution and will help you prepare you to sell our products. So we offer both online and in-person training. And a couple of days ago, we actually had our uh, GCP training on our, our GWN series in Malaysia. And if you're not ready to take on our advanced tests, feel free to attend any of our open webinars, just like this one, at grantstream.com slash events slash webinar. And don't forget, you're always welcome to request certain topics or give suggestions on what you'd like to see. You can even type it um, here in this webinar. Uh, we really pride ourselves in providing the best technical support and to really prove that we offer multiple channels to help you with all your support needs. You can log in with our help desk page and have your questions answered on our form page and also uh, look up common questions on our FAQ page. The so grant stream is always here to help. You can contact your uh, local distributor or even email the APAC regional sales team. Lastly, remember to connect with us and stay updated through our social media pages. In addition to our global accounts, we have our regional social media pages as well. For APAC, follow uh, at APAC Grandstream on Facebook. And a fun fact is that um, starting from Jazz's demonstration por por portion, this was being broadcasted on Facebook Live, which I will show you here. So this presentation is on Facebook right now, as well as one of our um, friends from Vietnam. So you can check both of us out if you follow us.
And uh, that's a wrap for now. For questions and comments, please email seals underscore asia at grandstream.com. I'll take this time to allow anyone to ask any more questions. And uh, yes, this presentation will be sent to everyone who registered, so keep a lookout on that. So I guess there's no more questions. I will end the meeting right now. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye.